We just saw yesterday uh, the principle of Sujo or the pure line uh, found you know, so um, evidently in Aikido Jutsu uh, and we also saw that it has one of its origins is found in Tanto Jutsu. Now, Sujo as a principle is, uh, can also be found in many other uh, signatures and subjects in Bugei. And today we'll see a bit of Sujo in Yai Jutsu. If we recall Sujo or the pure line, this principle states that we have to move uh, in the same straight line which, uh, which joins Tori and Duke in such a way that the, the interaction or the tension which is to be found uh, between them, uh, it can't be lost. It has to be sustained or maintained. Uh, when we talk about interaction, when we talk about, about ki, about energy, from the uh, Eastern point of view, is something quite, uh, you know, not concrete. But uh, from the next examples, we can have a very nice idea of what we're talking about. So, in Yai Jutsu, what does that mean? Let's say he'll perform a omotenu ki, and I'll be just here, he will reach me. Very nice. He'll try to cut my my wrist, so we have omotenu ki uh, in tekubi, tekubi giri. One more time. Very nice. So if he just stops, if he freezes there, you see that there is a line from his hara to my hara, and there is a line which is the line of attack itself. Of course, you can see this line from the geometry of the katana. So if we if we just take that place still here, if we just you know erase everything else, and if we just have if we just keep his hara, my hara, his hand, and his katana. And if we join the points, uh, we will see quite easily that we can have a line to be traced. So how can one keep this same line within his intention, within his attack? Let's see. For example, if he draws, and I am still here. I can touch him, but he can touch me. Yet in Sujo, if I have just a bit of a movement to the side, if he draws, and I draw, and he still can't cut me. Say, for example, he draws in Omotenuki one more time. So I will draw and enter. So we have yet just one line. In the same line, uh, we can find my, my own movement. Now someone might ask, okay, what happens then when he strikes, when he comes with a, a yokonuki and he performs it fully? How could one be aligned with that? Well, what happens is, if I step backward, then his movement is over. The, uh, the tension or the kind of the nature of the interaction is now finished within this cycle, within this turn, and then a new stage of the game, if you could say, will begin one more time. So if I draw now, I will have a brand new turn, a brand new movement, and then trying to solve in this stage. This is not uh, Sujo. So, how could we do it? In the studies concerning Mahai, uh, please, he will draw and cut me here in Dogri. So, this is his Mahai, his correct Mahai for cutting me here. One more time. He'll do, the, he'll do exactly the same thing. Just by having this, this one inch is just enough so he can cut me. He may think he will, but he won't. So, let's see. One more time, cut through me. One more time. So, if you note well, when he cuts me, 
he won't be able to find me here, but I can find him in this dolgiri. Yet in the same line. You can also find a line which is set by uh, the attacks or the movement of the katana, of the yaito. So, by using also this line, if he now comes to cut me uh, at this high, he still cannot find me, please make it fully, but I can't find him. Now, if he comes to cut in kubikiri at this high, and I keep the, the nature of the interaction and find him here. We are still talking about Sujo. What makes one of, the, one of the things that makes Sujo so special is that uh, in Bujutsu, the masters they fought so hard, they tried so hard to develop uh, interesting ways to deal with the enemy using the whole space, using the space, the three dimensions we all have um, in the most intelligent way, trying to deceive him, try to catch him. So what Sujo makes is he takes, he takes um, the whole space and deceives the enemy exactly by giving him the chance to think that he will cut us because we are not using what is surrounding us. We are not using the, the three dimensions in, uh, in such an obvious way. So it takes down uh, to just one possibility that he will cut me. But then in a perfect mind, in a perfect fitting, uh, we shrink it down to, we can say, uh, the thought of just one dimension. When we shrink it down, uh, it makes also quite difficult, nearly impossible if done perfectly, for him uh, to defend himself or to take our attack off, our movement off. So Sujo also talks about uh, joining, about blending of Aiki itself. For these reasons, Sujo used to be found so thoroughly in Aiki Jujutsu. Uh, of course, we can um, uh, extend this to next classes and understand the true origins of Sujo, which is not, uh, not to be found just in Tanto Jutsu and either in Aiki Jujutsu itself. Uh, but that should be a topic for a next class. Thank you very much.